Our first debate, Lou, I've only got a smallish tee. How high would you? I mean, I've been, I don't know, I think there's multiple. Well, I've been teeing up about that high. So I don't know what you would. When you say that high? Yeah, that's the kind of thing that, is that high enough? that's about right yeah here's one of the positives about this and i used this word in my video my own review you would never use the word versatility with a drive in a driver review but this has got versatility which yeah. we'll talk about later but even yeah. the way in which you can tee this up will probably give you some yeah, versatility that was, my, that was my first thing is so so sort of shape for versatility yeah yeah, yeah. but so you can, I, I've, I, it's not something i would ever think about is well, well, certainly how, I wonder how yeah. high I'm going to tee that up. You know, it's something that if, if I was going to change the shape of my driver, yeah, like fade it or whatever, then I would. But with this, I think you can do a lot of different things. Certainly, certainly in ball flight wise. Yeah, so I'm go just going to go for the standard, you know, half ball above. I think I think that's the only thing we can do, isn't it? And start there and give it a whack, mate. See what we yeah. see what we think. Solid. Wow. Nice start. Yeah. So already on the first tee, Lou, there's a bit of a debate with this uh, club that we're going to look at in today's video. It is, of course, TaylorMade's new mini driver. Yeah. And uh, I just really want a backup opinion. I played with it the last few days. I'll be honest with you, really, really like what it does. Like the kind of versatility that it offers. And in a better player's hands, I'd be really interested to see what your thoughts are today because I'm seeing Tommy Fleetwood's put one in the bag. One of the things I'd like you to get an idea on is the more drive you hit is sort of where you think you finished on the fairway in relation to your, you know, if you were playing driver, yeah. where would this have been? Yeah, so off that hole, I know we're, we're a little downwind, but off that hole, it's, it's pretty much where my driver would end up. I imagine downwind, you know, yeah, with 13, it's 13 and a half degrees. Yeah. It's exactly where it where it would be. You know, I would probably downwind hit my three wood and end up want to be down here, but probably end up 10 or 15 yards back. So so, so what you're saying is longer than your three wood, but maybe not as long as your driver. That's a shock, isn't it? I've put shot cool. tracer on here, mate, with your, uh, let's, 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 <laughs> yeah, let's, your, see, yeah. let's test out your wedge game. Oh, that was a little fat, smooth, wasn't it? smooth as silk. So Lou, we were, we were downwind on the first, in two, very much kind of in yeah. two. I just wonder if we can kind of like both have a crack at teeing it down a bit. Definitely, yeah. Let's yeah. even just get a bit of a different ball flight out of this one, maybe a bit, bit lower. Nice. Nice hitting. just perfect isn't it so a little bit different that one into the breeze teed it yep. down a bit more than happy with the way mine went off there I'm yep. quite happy with that into the wind yeah you hit a really good tee shot yeah more fair. than happy with the distance I yeah think i was you know out on course is great because you don't know what spin numbers are yeah you're just playing real world aren't you yeah and that that ended up really well i wanted what, what it did to... you think about what, what i've been deceived with so far is this model we've got today to test is 13 and a half degrees and we've just left it at standard yeah there is an 11 and a half model but what shocked me is that ball flight with the lower T still kept a fairly right. yeah, penetrating it was good. ball flight, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, and it is, it's adjustable as well, isn't it? It's adjustable. Yeah. So I think it um, depends what you're really using it for. Yeah. Um, I think I would probably go 13 and a half and as, as a strong three would. Yeah. Um, but if you're struggling with driver, obviously there's another option. But well, it's that key, it's that uh, flexibility. The flexibility, thing, I think up and down two degrees, you could really go for either, couldn't you? Yeah. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Lou, the next thing I'd like your opinion on is the kind of head shape. First of all, the fact that it's a lot smaller than driver, but obviously a yep. lot bigger than three would. Yeah. 
What are your thoughts? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I love the look of it, I have to say. Yeah. You know, I, I'd never seen it up close. There's a little orange tinge in there. Yeah, isn't yeah it? no, that's really nice. I like the fact that it's just simple. You know, the, the first one was the white one, wasn't it? I think yeah. it did. Um, it looks nice. Yeah. It looks like, it doesn't look, I think for people who, I get a lot of people in the shop who go, you know, they grab the new stuff and go, oh, that's massive, that, mm. you know, and they, you know, they've been playing golf a while, is I think this would, it sits you know, nice. I mean, I think it's big enough to give you the confidence. I said, and again, yeah. repeating what I said, on the first tee, you've got enough kind of bulk to think you ain't going to miss this thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, it's not like something it. you put down, you know, you put some manufacturers down or some, you know, sort of specs down and it sits open, it sits closed. It just sits yeah. really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very it's neutral. Standard. Standard. Yeah, yeah. Good. Give it another go. Yes. Yeah, a nice little shape with it as well. Yeah. The ball flight like that's that. deceived me the most, to be honest with you, like I said, 13 and a half degrees, and I've got that set up and again, so the weight position is this, one and a half grams in the front. So it goes higher, yeah? Yeah, so we've got, is it 15 or 13? 13. Let me read, it's 13, 13 at the back. So you can switch them round, and in theory, obviously, you get a low spinning, lower spinning model if we stuck that at the front. Yeah. So, Lou, we've just uh, had a bit of a brainwave. Uh, you suggested that the... Um, the mini driver basically comes as is with that Pro 4 shaft and there's obviously a couple of options in terms of weight and flex. Yeah. So just explain, what is your driver shaft? Um, it's an extra stiff, 70 gram, uh, 10 side white. Yeah. Okay. So low spin. It's just the idea of, you know, we're comparing it to a driver, it's called mini driver. Yeah. So let's compare it. But to I think this is something that possibly others will do out there as well. I think this is something that, you know, yeah. could conceivably happen. So it's an inch and a half shorter, yeah. isn't it? So, um, you know, I think a lot of people could really consider using shorter drivers. Yeah. You know, there's certainly more options in demo packs now, but we're just having a look at what well, might. I'd like to see a head to head. Let's just see yeah, how yeah. much distance we are possibly losing. Let's hit one with the full shaft on. Yeah. And then let's switch back to the 43.75 shaft and uh, see what happens. And it like. I mean, it's so much heavier, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel that heavy on No. It. Not at all. Right, okay. Isn't that interesting? Because it's the first time we've seen it ball launch really high. Yeah. That's crazy. Be, I've got just no idea why that's done that. No. I've got this shaft to keep the ball low. <laughs> just that's just stupid. The game, whole isn't science it? just thrown out the window. Let's just launch the ball super high. How did you? I mean, you're happy with that strike as well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I say what I wouldn't do. Yeah. Put this shaft in this head. That was really interesting. They don't go as a combo today. <laughs> no. But doesn't that show again, everyone wants to do where they want to see head to heads with the same shaft in things. Yeah, I go where. Uh, you know, there's a combination I, to be had. I've got a lot of uh, people who I sort of know or, you know, teach or, you know, sort of play golf with or whatever, who always want to go, oh, just let me pull that shaft there because I like that shaft and I'll yeah. take it out that. Exactly. Ping and I'll put it in a tight list or I'll put yeah, it in yeah. a tailor made and, and actually it's the oh. combo isn't it? I've had that debate online in the comment section for, for long enough mate, you do a head to head, they just want to see so if we, it's not got the same shaft in the same head, they don't want to know it. This is much better. Yeah. Isn't it? I can't believe it. No. It just feels like a different golf club doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what happens in terms of, I'm just interested in ball flight. And obviously, overall, where we finish up with the two in comparison. It's much better, that, isn't it? Super shot. I mean, it will go down range. So basically, what we've just done is we've marked the second ball up has got a red dot on it. So we'll go down fairway and see which ended up furthest yeah. down there. Both out the middle. Yeah. I asked you which which you happy with the strike on the first one, you were happy <laughs> with tell you which one I prefer. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Have you found the centre of the fairway with both of them, Lou? Yeah. Are you suggesting you think that's the you think that's the yeah. mini driver with the Definitely. shorter shaft on you? I'd be amazed if the if the one with my shaft is on further. Did a big reveal. Has that got a red dot on it? No, it's the first one there, yeah. 
So maybe about that. 10 or 15 yards. That's really interesting. So clearly, I mean, we spoke about it off camera just then. Big change in terms of the swing weight of the club. And obviously that's not something to, uh, that you want to look at considering doing, obviously. If anyone thinks you add in length, He's going to add distance and taking away length. Yeah, he's yeah. going to take away distance. Well. No, that is a myth. There's no doubt about it. One of the biggest features of this club is consistency of strike being out the middle more so than potentially with the longer driver. I think that's one of the big appeals. Right, we've got one more test to do, and that's playing the ball from the fairway, which I know you do with your current driver, yeah. but not many of us do. But I'll be interested to see how you fare with 13 and a half degrees off of a tight lie on the fairway. No, I just really want to see you, so we're basically, I know we're on the tee, but... Uh, it's still off the deck, isn't it? It's off the deck, let's just see what you do. I mean, first of all, the fact that why would you play... Is your driver head nine degrees? Yeah, nine lofted up to 9.75, yeah. Well, you'd be comfortable hitting that off the fairway? Yeah, it hit, why? Off, the, hit off the driver. How? <laughs> um, it's just something I've always done. Yeah. Wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Just so the second shot on a par five, that's, the, that's yeah. another, the only occasion really, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I would never hit it off the tee. Yeah. You know, there's no point in hitting driver no, no. off the tee. You know, if you got the advantage, hit it off the tee. Um, we're just doing this just to compare, aren't we? Because it's something but this I love it. doing. You know, driver off the deck is like my strong three wood. Yeah. Which is... Yeah. Exactly. What, what right. this? Um, well, let's see how it's done. I tried it. I mean, I, I I ate a big sort of slider, if you like, low, but it was doable. Yeah. And it certainly adds to that versatility. It just sits again. so nice. We can't yeah. not. Yeah. Because yeah. I think people would use it as a three wood, wouldn't they? You know, certainly this model. Yeah. Thirteen and a half. Yeah, that's Super Bowl. Like it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, yeah, I'm, super. Trying to, I'm trying to find holes with this, but I think it's just a great club that will suit a lot of people. Yeah. Yo, know, everyone should uh, be thinking about, yo, know, how can I put this in the bag? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, dead positive person, aren't yeah. I? So. <laughs> yeah, no, that coming from you is, um, you know, it's a really glowing report. And also the fact that, let's be fair, you've not moved from your, your driver for quite some time. You love that thing, but yeah. I must admit, I play, I've loved the mini drivers uh, since the sort of rebirth of whatever it was a few years ago. But to me, this is the best one by far yeah. that they've brought out. Yeah, a massive positive for me is it's, it's cool. You know, I yeah. like this. I love the head cover. I like the way it looks. Um, and the way sort of the price of things are sort of shot up. Yeah. I, quite, I think they've done the right thing with the price. Yeah, point. yeah. It sits right where it should. Yeah. Um, well, it's almost like I said, at I think it's going to, I think it's 369, just talking again off camera. I think it's 369, but either way, it's nowhere near 500 quid, which obviously the stealth is. Um, and it's almost in line with what you're going to pay for a fairway wood nowadays yeah. as well. Yeah, they're in around 300. Um, so it's a so good, it's, good product. Yeah, I mean, the, the one thing that I want to keep doing more and more with Lou is it's almost like a second opinion I've given mine on many occasions and then when there's a sort of standout product which I think this is to bring it up and get a second opinion from Lou is really interesting different perspective who it would be aimed at in terms of golfers and I'm sure like you said you would recommend that to a lot of your members here and um, you know handicapped golfers Definitely. whatever you want to call them yeah. so yeah I think we both agree really super product there from TaylorMade right thanks to Lou again thanks to Hollywell Golf Club and uh, thanks for the sun for shine just a little bit longer while we're out here we're going to carry on We've got another video to do this one it's a surprise it's under that wrapper over there and uh, make sure you tune in for that one which will probably be tomorrow night and i'll see you all then